Well, welcome back, listeners. As you know, there is a tour coming up that I am very, very excited about because there is a band that provided a soundtrack to some of the most important parts of my life, and that band is called Orgy. And today we have Carlton and Jay from Orgy on the phone to chat about this amazing tour that is coming up. Welcome to the program, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, and I'm, I'm really flattered that you said that. Uh, that's... Uh... That's a, that's a big responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, we've got so many questions I want to ask because uh, you have actually been on my bucket list to interview on this uh, show for a long, long time. So, uh, guys, thank you for making it happen. And to start off, how do you guys feel about this upcoming Australian tour? Excited. Uh, for so many reasons. I mean, you know, we should have been there a long time ago. Um, you know, we should have definitely played there you know, a hundred years ago and we didn't. So, but we are going to do it now. So, you know, no, no better time than the present, you know? So yeah, better, better link. Yeah. (laughs) So Carlton, we were talking a little bit, we were talking a little bit earlier off air. You've been to Australia uh, recently. Tell us a little bit about what your thoughts were on Australia. Yeah, I was there um, last September um, and man, it was, I had a great time. We, we did all five of the major things we did. We did Perth, we did, uh, Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney, and, um, and, um, Adelaide and, um, every, you know, just everyone there was amazing. Like the shows were great. Everyone there was so cool and we had a blast. Yeah. I've never been on the other hand. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so I was going to well, talk. You're going to have a good time. <laughs> I was going to talk about that, Jay, yeah. because Orgy had such a huge following here in Australia and still do. How did that? How did it happen that you guys never got here? Because, uh, yeah, you guys charted here and everything, it's, and you have so many amazing Australian fans. How did that happen that you guys never actually got here for a tour? I haven't the faintest idea. You know, I mean, it, it had been talked about in the past, but uh, uh, nothing ever came to fruition. And uh, we just never played there. So, you know, I, I mean, it's not that I didn't want to. Not, I mean, you know, I've also wanted to do the festivals in, in Europe, you know, like, and we've never done those either. Yeah. We've, we've, played, we've played some UK dates and, like, you know, some, uh, you, you know, London dates and stuff like that, but never anywhere else. Yeah. So, Jay, I have to ask, does that change your set list coming to Australia? Because you've never been here before, do you guys want to go all out for your Australian fans and, and deliver all those past hits that, that we never got to see live? Does it cha- does it change anything for you? <coughs> Wait, is that, um, come again on that? I mean, you said... Oh, your, your set list. Does it change the set list that you're uh, going to play at all because you've never been here? Uh, definitely, but I mean, not not not, not a lot. I mean, I, I think we're, we, if anything, we're going to add to it. Yeah. But uh, just to make the show a little bit longer... Um, but we're going to, you know, mix it up like we have been doing and, uh, you know, play a little bit from all the records, but definitely probably more candy ass than all the others. So, you know, since it's the 25th anniversary, you know, we've kind of been doing a first set already this year, you know, like maybe half of it's like candy ass. And then there's a handful of songs from vapor and a handful of new songs. And yeah, yeah. You know. we're probably going to, we're probably going to have to learn it some new ones and maybe these two songs. Oh, so uh, real quickly, we, we, we signed a two, two song deal with golden robot, which is an Australian label. Yep. And, um, so, so they're, um, uh, we, we want to try to get these two songs done and get those out prior to us going there so we can play them as well. So there'll be some brand new material, you know, hopefully, uh, some, you know, some new material and you know, the old stuff too. So should be a good mix. Awesome. Yeah. So, Carlton, tell us a little bit about these new tracks. What's it been like what, sitting down and working on brand new tracks like this? I mean, we've been working on tons of new tracks. You know, it's just a matter of completing them. <laughs> we, have, we have, like, the meat and potatoes for, I don't know, what, 40, probably 40 songs. But uh, Yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, I... You know, a lot of that has to do with me. Just, like, I, I don't know, I'm so ADD. Like, so, like, one minute I'm feeling a certain way, and... You know, there's the ones that I that I listen to though. That even some of the older ones that are that are really dope. That uh, you know that I want to work on and stuff. So, 
you know, it just depends on what's going on at the time, you know, like I just, whatever I'm feeling, you know, if it, if it feels right to, to deliver, you know, a certain type of sound or something like that, then we'll do it, you know, and, but we do have a lot of starters, like he's right, 40, 50 well, starters. I mean, yeah, we have tons of starters, but I mean, you know, there, there's some that are, they're more completed than others. And there's some that are, you know, yeah. pretty much there, you know, so, so, so Jay, just touching on something we talked about before, for a lot of um, Aussies of my age, orgy means a lot because your music came out at that time when we were going through our teenage years and, and things like that. Like for me, Vapor Transmission is just one of those albums that is a soundtrack to my my teenage years and Eva is a song that means a lot to me because of something that happened during that time. Do you, do you hear that a lot that there are a lot of people out there that your music has got them through some incredibly tough times? I, I actually do. And, I, and, and it touches me every time because, uh, you know, like maybe, you know, a certain song that someone's talking about really doesn't, d- didn't have the kind of meaning that, you know, I love that people, um, you know, uh, no matter what you write a song about, someone's always going to come up with uh, their version of, of what they think the song's about. And I love it because, uh, you know, it's, it's like there's people put some interesting twists on things. But I do love it when someone tells me that, you know, you know, got me through some really tough times. Or uh, That always makes me feel so good. Like, you know, like no matter what they think the song's about. Like, you know? Yep. I, I can't yeah. Remember. So. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Jay. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, so, so, yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy. You know, obviously, hearing that is, it, it, it just makes it all worth it. You know, so it's great for everyone to, to um, attach their own meaning from, from their own experience to whatever the lyrics are. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. At Carlton, flashing back to 2011, tell us a little bit about your journey coming into the band, because of course, Orgy were a big band, and then. You got to join that huge band yeah. like that. So, what was that like for you coming into a band that was already well established and already had a, a brilliant fan base? Well, I mean, Jay and I have known each other since right after Candy Eyes came out, and I was I was playing in a band called Deadsy, which was on the same label, Elementary, as Orgy was, Jonathan Davis's label. So we were all like homies. We all knew each other, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah. You know, Jay and I had always like just talked about, oh, you know, we should work together one day. We should write some songs together one day. And yeah. eventually, both Deadsy kind of split up, and and the original Orgy split up. And then Jay hit me up just one day out of the blue and said, "I'm thinking of putting the band back together. Let's, uh, if you're interested, let's find some some other guys and and put it together." Yeah. yeah and and, uh, and, uh, and to be technical about it, I mean, you know, it never really split up. It just kind of fizzled out and wasn't really there's was no momentum you know with the old situation because you know and and whether they want to admit it or not you know other guys are like pursuing other things and and uh and i was cool with that like you know what i mean but you know then they got hella mad when i you know announced that i was putting a new band together but like it's like what the fuck man it's like you know i you, you know i started this band i wrote you know I don't know, a good bulk of these songs, like a good 85, 90% of these, the material. And it's like, you can't tell me that I can't do something. And I own the name. So it's like, you know, if, if I feel like it's just stalemating, being stagnant, and, and, and I feel like, you know, the, the contributions won't be there, then, you know, I got to go do the next best, best thing or let it die, you know, and yeah. I didn't want to do that. So that's just the way I felt that I it needed to move forward. And a lot of people are going to disagree with that, you know, and that's just not, you know, I can't concern myself with that. Definitely, yeah. Jay, I wanted to talk to you as yeah, well about... And I, and, I, and I don't I don't really have any, you know, I don't really, you know, feel like terrible about any of the other people in the other band. In fact, Paige came up and played with us, you know, a few months ago at the Whiskey Year, you yep. know? So it's like, you know, so I, I love Paige and he's my boy and he always was, you know? So, uh, and the other guys are cool too. I, you know, and I saw Bobby recently with Tommy Lee and, you know, we, we hugged it out and, all that and saw him and his kids and it's always good to see someone you know so yeah yeah that's awesome jay i wanted to talk to you as well about um 
the band and your relationship with pop culture? Because, of course, a lot of Australians became aware of your music when Opticon was used on the soundtrack for Valentine. And, of course, other people heard it in Zoolander. But you also worked on the Queen of the Dam soundtrack. You also appeared in an episode of, of Charmed. What was that like for you as an artist getting to have your music being in huge feature films like that, but but also getting to to work on a track like you did for Queen of the Damned. Uh, awesome, uh, like I, I I love it, and uh, you know just to be to be clear on the Queen of the Damned song, uh, that that was written by Jonathan Davis, yep. and uh, he could he could do the version in the movie, but n- none of the stuff on the soundtrack. So he offered me first dibs on what song I wanted to do. And having no idea that that song was going to actually be in the movie, I picked that one because it was my favorite. So uh, I went with Slept So Long, and then he did leave the rest of the songs up with the other guys, you know? And uh, I don't know, the rest is history, I guess. And so we play it, you know, we play it live, and it's a great song. You know, John, John did a great job of writing that. And I just want to make sure the credit is given oh, yeah. where credit's due. Yeah. Oh, look, that is such an amazing um, soundtrack. I thought Jonathan did a, a really great job on that soundtrack. It's one that I go back to so many times and listen to. But I have to ask, what was it about that track that that made you want to do that track? I mean, I, it just, you know, he he'd given me these songs long before they were even, you know, he was even thinking about doing them for a movie or anything like that. He given me these songs on a, a, I don't know if you know what a Red Book CD is, but like yep. a special kind of mastering CD, you know. And um, he gave me one of those, and it had, you know, the, the like the songs from the soundtrack basically on it. And I loved them all. Don't get me wrong. I just that one just like stuck out to me. And and plus Terry Bazio, great drummer, uh, he played drums on that one, so it was all good. It just it just kind of lined aligned with me well and it it worked out it worked out it works out every day (laughs) yeah you you also got to work on reanimation as well the the lincoln park album what was that like for you getting to to work with these amazing bands but getting to put your own kind of spin on their tracks what how does that make you feel as an artist uh excellent you know it's like uh it's really weird like it's hard to like as weird as it's going to sound, like, you know, it's hard to find that version with my name on it for some reason. I don't know why, but, like, I don't know, maybe someone's mad at me or something. I have no idea. But I, but it was it was great. And, um, uh, you know, it was the only single on that thing. And, I, you know, I think it's really cool. And we, I did it at my house with uh, a couple of guys, you know. And that was that, you know, Engineer Doug and, and uh, uh, who else worked on that, you know. Um, Oh my god, I can't think of his name right now. It starts with an A, the Nine Inch Nails guy. Like, uh, yeah, yep. Uh, Atticus, you know what I'm talking about? Atticus, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he, he did some stuff on it. He, he didn't really want his name associated with it, but, like, you know, because he's, he's, you know, he's very, very in a different different mindset, you know, than, than all that. He didn't want the, the pop, you know, uh, connection. So, you know, he helped me do some engineering stuff. He used some filters on it and stuff. Really, really cool and uh you know without without those guys it probably wouldn't uh, have, have come out as good as it did you know definitely i wanted it to sound better i wanted to uh, you know i definitely wanted to add some things to it to make it sound different but you know I, I gave it back to them they mixed it they had a guy that mixed the whole record to make it you know more congruent with the other songs so it worked out good you know and uh it's a huge remix and you know it's just hard to find that version like if you look now it's almost like whoa, did, did this get wiped? Like, what's going on, you know? Yeah, I'm lucky. I've got the CD version, so I'm able to go back and take oh, a yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I, got the, I got the platinum plaque hanging up somewhere in my house. You know? <laughs> so, Carlton, a question for you from our listeners. Our listeners always love to know, what do you guys like to do away from the stage when you're on tour, especially to a country like Australia that you don't get to come to very often? <laughs> I don't, go ahead, Carly. I mean, I mean, when I was there last fall, like I did all the, all the, all the tour stuff. We went to the, uh, to the koala sanctuary in uh, in Brisbane. We did the whole feeding camp. Brisbane, Brisbane, it's Brisbane. No, it's Melbourne in Melbourne and Brisbane. Is, is it Brisbane, Brisbane or Brisbane? Brisbane. Yeah. I don't know. Brisbane. So everything's Brisbane. in Brisbane. It's Melbourne. Yeah. 
All right, so we went to the Koala Sanctuary in Brisbane. We did the, we fed the kangaroos, uh, took a picture holding a koala bear, which was amazing. Yeah. I almost cried. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Uh, um, I was going to ask you, do uh, how's how's my how's my football team going to be this year? So because when I was there last year, the Carlton Blues football team was kicking ass, and I bought a jersey there and like wore it on stage, and everyone was like tripping out. And yeah, they, they went to like the finals, I think. Yeah, so at the moment it looks like you guys are going to make the finals. Um, you absolutely blitzed Port Adelaide um this last weekend. You smashed them, so uh. Yeah, you've got your you've got your spot in the final eight at the moment. You've just got to hold on to it. Nice. <laughs> this is my, this is my boy. Yeah, are, are, the, are the jerseys cool? Maybe I should buy one too. Yeah, yeah. I, I have one. I'll show it to you. Yeah, Very so cool. Ca- Carlton's one of the oldest teams um, in our league. So their um, their logo and everything is is right back to the 1800s. It's a yeah. They're uh, in a, uh, how fitting. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, how fitting! Oh, that's the oldest team in the league. Okay. <laughs> Erica said she's gonna go grab my jersey. She's gonna show it to you. <laughs> yeah. So, so Jay, what, Jay, what are you looking forward to doing when you're in Australia? Um, I, I like, uh, like getting through the shows, mostly, uh, you know, meeting people, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And I want to spend as much time with the fans down there because I want to know what makes them tick and what they want to hear and all that kind of stuff. So I'm very curious to, uh, on a lot of levels. But uh, you know, I'd like to see some kangaroos and stuff too, but. I don't think we're going to have much time to do any of that. I mean, which really sucks because, you know, it's, but but the the shows are like real quick. We're just puddle jumping, puddle jumping, puddle jumping, you know? Yep. Yeah. So, so however it works out, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. That's the bummer. You have to play and fly and play and fly. Yep. (laughs) Not have much time to hang out. So guys, we are we really cool just to walk around in. Yeah. So guys, we are running out of time very very quickly, but I just had two quick questions before we go. First of all, you mentioned the new music. Is there a, is there a rough date that we can expect that new music to drop? No, we just signed the deal, so uh, we we don't even have uh, you know we haven't even talked to them about which directions we're going. You know what I mean? So yep. we're gonna have some talks with the label before we even get close to like release dates or anything. But I you know it, it better be pre pre trip to you know that trip you know like, i want i want both of those songs out by then and uh hopefully you know i'm sure we can deliver on that so and then i want to play them you know definitely yeah, now, for sure now guys to finish yeah. to finish off what would you like to say to all of your australian fans out there before they go out and grab tickets to these amazing shows uh can't wait to uh, be there and see you guys and hang out and yeah, man. Like looking forward to looking forward to meeting you guys and uh, you know uh, hanging out. So every everyone there is just so cool and so just like down to earth and just goes out to have a fun time. It's it's refreshing. Yeah. 